great. So now we got another Tasmanian Tiger to deal with. Something tells me he's gonna be the next boss after I complete these next three levels. Sun, sand, surf, sharks, and sea mines. More alliterations! Never a dull moment in the Great Barrier Reef. Just don't forget to slap on the old sunscreen. Obvious. How do you put? How do you put that picture thing on the raft? That's impossible. Oh well. Let's try taking a step forward. Oh, nothing interrupted us this time. Still, I should wonder what she has to say. Something I thought she was gonna just automatically tell G'day, me something. Ty. Rex and I are looking for pirate treasure. Pirate treasure? Sweet. I downloaded a map of that internet thingy, and it shows where uh, Wedgwood's treasure is buried. Dingy. Wedgwood's treasure? Really? Wedgwood was a fierce pirate who ruled the southern seas. But he left pirating to try something even more cutthroat. Like what? What? Teaching. Huh? What? Anyway, legend has what? it that he buried his treasure on one of these islands. I couldn't decipher the entire map, but I think it's some sort of treasure hunt that starts on Crab Island. Oh look, the crabs Could are coming back then, corner? huh? Sure, no worries. Great, a treasure Thanks, hunt. Doll. Well, okay, I guess I can spare some time to do a treasure hunt, but I gotta take a look over here at this island first. You know, might as well explore everywhere, right? Again with you guys? We just went through this. We've discovered the secret location of Parrot Beard's long lost booty. You found two you treasures? Cave, but there's a problem. What sort of problem? A big eight legged. Ah, oh, more spiders! Oh, no. Great! Oh, I hate spiders. Well, you're in luck, doll. Huh? It's a giant octopus. That doesn't make it better! Keep it busy while we gather the treasure. Ty, your reaction is the same as mine. Good on you, mate. Keep that eight-legged beast busy. I, how do I? Uh, um, what? Shoot the tentacles! Yes, obviously. Please excuse me while Rule Thirty Four begins to initiate itself here. Oh, that's a lot of treasure. Let me guess. He's just going to take a set amount, huh? God. If these guys knew how to use boomerangs, they could probably raid this treasure easy. Wait a second, how many rocks are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six rocks. Where are those? Where are the final two octopus tentacles at? Oh, great. Jeez. It looks like he's actually trying this time. If only this octopus knew how to withstand the boomerang hitting a tentacle. <sighs> Bonza, mate. You kept that giant octopus off our backs. We couldn't have done it without you, doll. Well, at least it wasn't a spider. So here's your share. Huh? Wicked. Now they're green? Now they're green? Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to figure out what the green ones mean, don't don't I? I'm gonna have to figure that out that one out. What else is on this island? Whoa! What kind of enemies are these? 
they just have shields. Oh well. I will enjoy seeing them frozen. <laughs> oh, they don't die when frozen? Ah, uh, should have seen that one coming. Oh well. Now, if I hop over these things, will I come across a golden cog, maybe? Yup. There's one thing I know in this game. It's that predictable treasures lie at the ends of tough obstacles. Doesn't look like there's much around here, so... I think I'll try going to that island over there next. Let's see, what can I find around here? I should probably change the infrarangs in case I hear that beeping noise. Aha! There you are. The mystical beeping noise never fails. Hmm. What do these orbs look like? They look like... Huh. They're green. But... They must be electricity or something, because they look like they're burning with energy. I think it is electricity. Although, um, why, why didn't they just use yellow? Oh well. Levels like these, with all these giant islands and everything, and not much connection in between, the best thing to do is just to completely search an island before moving to the next one. That's the only way you'll guarantee yourself getting 100%. That's kind of an obvious statement coming from me, but you can never be too careful, because some levels can be a real pain in the butt, if you know what I mean. Case in point, bridge on the river, Ty. That level is going to live on in my mind. <sighs> Did he just use a shield to hurt me? Great. Oh, more beeping! Aha! Another picture frame! I'm going to open an art dealership when this is over! I'm running out of jokes to say, aren't I? Hmm? Another beeping noise? Wow, these things are proficient. Hmm? That thing lead to? Yeah, I'll find out later. Oh, yet again, more beeping. Where is it? Gotcha. Okay. Looks like I can use these randomly bouncy chairs to try and get up onto that thing. If I can just time it right. Hmm. Alright. Uh, that was a close one. Uh, looks like I gotta connect to that one. If it ever gets over here. I guess it's all about timing now. Come on. Come on. Do I have to wait for the right moment to jump? You know what? I'm gonna try to jump to that one. Yeah, that's a fail. Oh well. Let's see what's on this island.